We're coming really close to Easter time, so I wanted to put together some ideas that you can fill your Easter baskets. Most of these things can be bought online because I know most of us can't go out shopping right now. So if you're looking for some really interesting ideas, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet. I've been busy putting together some Easter basket ideas for you guys, and I can't wait to show you some of the things that are in these baskets. Right now, it's really hard to get to the store to do some Easter basket shopping, so I wanna give you guys some ideas on some things that some of these companies have sent to me that I think would be perfect for Easter basket fillers. So I'm gonna also put all of these in my Amazon store in a special section labeled Easter basket ideas. So if you're interested, you can go right to it and find all of these things there. Plus, I might put some additional things that I'm not showing you in this video so you might wanna go check that out for more inspiration. I have a lot to show you in this video, so we gotta get started and go pretty fast, but a little hint to you is to watch all the way to the end because I have a little mini giveaway. This basket is filled with goodies from Educational Insights. If you have not tried Pluffle, I think you are completely missing out. The colors are amazing. Over at Toy Fair, they had all the colors out and everybody was playing with it. It was a lot of fun. It's recommended for ages five and up. I'm gonna use one of my trays here just to show you really quickly. This is a great sensory toy. Look at it, it just moves and grows. <laughs> and it's just fun to touch and play with. It doesn't dry out. And I just love the sensation and texture of it. So these can be used in sensory bins. You can put these just as play alone. You can add some elements to them, little animal figurines. You can have them hunt for letters, magnetic letters inside here. You can have them mix the colors, put it on a tray, put it in a sensory bin, and you can have some great sensory play with these. What I like about this is that it is not sticky. It's not wet. So sometimes sensory materials can be a little bit wet. I have some more of those I want to show you. And sometimes kids aren't ready for those quite yet. So this is just a really safe texture that is kind of non-threatening if you have sensory processing issues. So love this. Love that when you put it on here, it just kind of moves. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Who doesn't love this stuff? From the Play Foam line from Educational Insights, we have the Unicorn Magic and also the Space Squads. They're both recommended for ages five and up and they're a little bit different. I'm gonna show you the Space Squad first. These little capsules are pretty cool because they're shaped like little rocket ships. And there's toys inside, so there's five toys in each one. This one that I'm showing you here is from Series 7. If you look at the back of the package, you can see all the different ones you can collect. So if you have a child that likes to collect these kinds of toys, then these are perfect for them. I'm gonna show you several kind of collecting toys in this video. We just take off the plastic and then inside here we have our first surprise. We have some space themed stickers, like them, there's really metallic. Here's our guide to see which characters we got. A little flag, looks like we can put some stickers on there too if we wanted to. And we can open up our guide and see, yeah, you can put stickers on, on them and use it with your play. And then we have two colors of play foam inside of here. We open it up, there's another surprise. Oh, and he's cute. Looks like this little guy is the Cadet Wally. Looks like a little walrus package. This one is actually glow in the dark. So each one of these has some glow in the dark play foam and then the colored play foam. So play foam is a little bit different than the pluffle. It's a little bit stickier and it's moldable. You can shape it into different things and it will stay together. What a lot of people like to do with the play foam is to make them into letters or numbers if you're learning about letters and numbers. It's a great sensory activity too if you want to introduce a child that has sensory issues on touching something a little bit more stickier, but you can see I can shape it into different shapes a ball i can mold it into a square and it holds its shape sometimes people ask me what you do with all these kinds of collectible things use them as manipulatives use them as counters use them in sensory bins use them to hunt to find inside of things like this would be a great tool to cover this up to try to find this so that kids are using their fine motor skills to pull apart that play foam to find that character and of course imaginative play too so these do have a good purpose you just have to know how to use them other than just playing with them as they are so you can use them in a lot of different activities and i encourage you if you do have these already in your house or something similar to use it in that way. And they make great manipulatives as far as counters go. Now this Play Foam Pals Unicorn Magic comes with two rainbow shapes here purple and yellow. On the back of our box, we have several different ones we can choose from. This one's from series eight, and this one has four surprises inside. All right, so we open up our little rainbow here and we have surprises on the bottom. How cute. So these are accessories to make our little, a little keychain looks like. So this would hook onto here. How cute. Okay, we like that. And we have our character right here. 
How sweet. It's a little bunny rabbit. This little one's name is Cotton Taffy. Okay, and then we have the same play foam inside that we can use with our little toys and in our sensory bins. When so. I was at Toy Fair, I showed you guys what's inside this box because I thought it was a really fun sensory item. Plus they're shaped in eggs, so it would be perfect for an Easter basket. This little carton was set to me. It looks just like a little egg basket. How cute is that? We have on this side some foodie surprise candy slime. Yes, you heard me right, candy slime. So great for sensory. And then Yoki's with a mystery collectible figurine inside. So this also has candy slime inside. Saw these at Toy Fair. Couldn't wait to get my hands on them because of the edible component. So I'm gonna take my tray back out. Of course, make sure if you're gonna eat this, you have a clean tray. I'm gonna show you one Yoki's. I'm gonna show you one of the foodie surprise eggs. A while back I did a whole video about slime, whether or not it was a yay or a nay or a good thing. I'm okay with slime probably in small doses because I think it's a really great sensory material and you can really do some great sensorial things with them. And so with direction from parents, I'm okay with slime. We have our candy slime inside this part right here. And then here is our mystery mix-in. So a mix-in is something that you mix in with the slime to change the texture. So here's our slime. Now this this is the gooey kind of slime, right? If you have a child with sensory processing issues, this would probably be the very last thing to introduce them to. But the thing about this is it's candy, it's edible. You can actually eat this. And then this is the mix-in. Let's see what our mix-in looks like. And our mix-in is edible too. Oh, it's, it's a white mix-in. Looks like kind of sugar crystals. So these are kind of fun because you can add something into them and you can eat them and taste them and it's taste safe and it's totally okay. So if you have a child that's really oral and puts things in their mouth, this is okay to play with and still get that sensorial component. So these are foodie surprises. Um, here is the little spoon too that comes with it that you can mix, mix it up on your own. And now for the Yoki's. I just think these are so fun for Easter because they look like eggs. So this is what it looks like when you unwrap it. And this part is our actual slime. When you pour it out, it looks like an egg yolk, just like an egg yolk, and this is edible too. On the other side of the egg, we have our surprise, and it looks like our little guide to our figurine here. And we got the donut. I have a couple things inside this basket to show you from three different companies. I have Think Fun, Chalk of the Town, and Brixies. Let me show you what's in here. I showed you two of these other Think Fun brain teaser puzzles in a restaurant kit a while back. So I'd recommend going and watching that because they had two in there that were really good. These are the other two that I promised I'd show you in this video. This one's the rectangle in the fifth chair. So these are brain teaser puzzles that are really small. Here is the rectangle where you have different bars all across here. Looks like eight different sizes. And the challenge on this one is to be able to fit them in the square, which is on this side, or excuse me, the rectangle, which is on this side. So you have to take these bars and fit them over on here. And because I've never done this before, I'm not gonna do this on camera, but that's the challenge with this. And it isn't as easy as you might think. So that's the rectangle. And this one is the fifth chair. And these are four blocks that you have to rearrange to make it into a chair that looks just like this, but bigger with all the other pieces. I'll show you here on the back of the box. So you take all those pieces, there's four of them all look like the chair and you have to combine them to make one big chair. These brain teaser puzzles will get your kids thinking. Trust me, the other two we put in our restaurant kits were quite a challenge for my daughters and they got one of them. They're still working on the other ones. Another find from Toy Fair was this Brixie's little brick puzzle. It's actually a postcard. So because we're stuck at home and you wanna send some happy mail to someone, this might be great option. You send it as a postcard and then they get it in the mail. This one says Happy Easter on it and then they can actually make there on the card. All of the contents are right inside. So if maybe you have grandchildren. I have a lot of grandmothers and grandparents on here. It's just a nice little letter you can send to them. There's a spot to write everything you need. Fold it open and you have the instructions on the inside and then all of the pieces are right inside the card here including the little stand to make it on. And so this one you're making a bunny and a little Easter scene. And I'd probably say this is probably for ages eight and up too because these pieces are so small. So a really cool way to send some greetings to your family members or friends during Easter because you can't go see them right now. This is from a company called Chalk of the Town and these are cool because they're chalkboard patches with markers on them. This company also has some really cool products too that you can personalize t-shirts with. I was playing around with it over at Toy Fair and had a lot of fun learning about it. And this package that comes with a white marker and a blue marker and a patch. And then these 
are stickers. So they stick to laptops, lockers, lunchboxes, notebooks, mirrors. You can put them on binders or you can sew them onto, um, you know, jackets or jeans or that kind of thing. They shake up our markers that came with it. They also sell additional markers on their website too. So if you want to get different colors, you can. And then you can just draw your design right on it. And if you want, you can take a damp cloth and wipe it right off and redo it. So if you have an artist in your house, or someone who's really creative, you can have them draw their own designs and then add it to whatever you want. It's really cool, you can use this as a label, so like that, and then you can take a damp cloth and do it over again. Zuru sent me a box of fun surprise eggs, and I thought I'd just throw this in here for fun and show you what they have. Zuru sent me a huge box filled with their surprise line of toys, and they're all great size and perfect for Easter baskets. So I wanted to show you them because I think a lot of the kids out there like these kinds of things, and they're small and they're a great size for Easter baskets. This one is the smaller version of the rainbow corns. So there's five surprises in here. You take off the cover and then inside we have our cute rainbow corn. These are collectible too. They come with different ones. And this one's name is Shimmer. And then inside the bottom here is the boo-boo corn is what they call them. And then this guy will change color in water. Then you also will get a little package of rainbow corn poop as they call it. And this is kind of like a slime compound that you can play with. These are five surprise balls and they they all do something a little bit different. This one is Dino Strike, so it's a dinosaur themed surprise ball. And so you pull out the little plug, which you can put back in if you want to, and it opens up the five compartments inside, and each one of these compartments has a different surprise. So I opened up all the compartments, and I have all the pieces to make my little dinosaur collectible. Once I put all the pieces together, I have my dinosaur, and I have his little striker um, <laughs> weapon here. You don't have to use the weapon if you don't want to, and it actually works too. Ooh, just flew across the room. They also have one that's a unicorn squad. So this one, as you can imagine, has unicorn theme instead of the dinosaur. And it opens up and you have your surprises inside. Yes, there's our unicorn. My girls love these unicorns. And then she's got her hairstyles here. We have some bow stickers and a comb. We've got her accessories, some shoes and some sunglasses, and then a slime compound. I like that her legs are posable so we can put on her shoes and we can play with her. I think the one that we got, her name is Luna. My girls love these, you guys. I know they're just really simple toys, but they just love opening them and playing with them. I don't know what it is. And then of course they have the traditional five surprise balls, which I think were the very first ones my kids ever played with. Aw, she's cute, little princess, and she has a dress. And then she has some stickers. My kids love using the stickers on their um, notebooks and things at school. Little accessory, which is a butterfly ring. Got a slime compound, which has glitter inside. That's pretty nice. And then a hair accessory for my girls, which they're going to love. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is the Zuru Oosh Cotton Candy Cuties. This one is a whole sensory component to it because it smells sweet. And you also can do a lot of touching with this, sensory touching. There we go. And we have inside here a little package to open. What's really interesting about this is that this compound really reminds me of some of the compounds that we'd use with our kids in therapy. And in therapy, we would often do a lot of pushing with our fingers to find things inside of a ball like this that has this kind of um, moldable putty on it. And so this just reminds me of that just put into a mainstream toy. And you just kind of poke around until you discover your surprise inside. Good fine motor exercise right there. And then we just open this. And inside we're gonna find our oosh. Oh, it's so cute. Now my kids love these. So we just squish and they pop right back up. So I have a sensory seeker and these just really fulfill that need for her. She just loves squishing things as she does with these kinds of compounds too. And then I forgot to mention, of course, these do smell. This one is the strawberry scent. They have it labeled right here for you. If you're looking for something a little bit more substantial, I have a few things from learning resources that would make a great Easter present. This is the Beaker Creatures Learning Resources Alien Experiment Lab. It's for ages five and up and you get so much in this. This. Look at this. This is actually a 20 piece set and I pulled out all the pieces to show you. So what you're getting inside this kit is a slime station, which is this right here. So I've got like a little basket at the top that has holes in it where slime can go down. It can collect down in this little dish down here, like a little Petri dish. Then we have our two reactor pods that come with it. Inside here are some 
surprises inside that are collectible. And once the shell dissolves in your experiments, you can find it. And it shows you exactly right here, all the different ones that you can collect. So there's like over a hundred you can collect. And then you, once you're done with those, you can remake them using these creature molds. So these are molds to make your own reactor pods as well as the pod maker. So you can do this over and over and over again. This is a slime extruder. So you put some slime inside of there and you can squish it into the, the, the little slime station here. And then we have our beaker grabber tool, which will take our beaker and we can kind of use that with our experiments. Also, what's really cool about this set is that they do these little sheets that have some, some facts on it, some about animals. And so you can also have this as a learning opportunity as well. So there's two of those that come with it, as well as these little sheets here where you can look at your specimens that you find in your reactor pods and make observations about them. Also what's in here is this huge super science booklet. So in here is where all your experiments on are in and you can do slime activities in here. You have fizzy pod experiments, you have smushy dough experiments. And a lot of these, you're just using some of the kitchen science items that you have in your house, like cornstarch, food coloring, vinegar, that sort of thing. But it walks you right through it to do all of these experiments over and over and over again. So with this whole kit, this one kit, you can do so much. Plus they have expansion kits on it too. So you can do your own experiments and, and add on to your science lab. And you can also get these reactor pods already made extra too. So I've used these before in a video, love them. They're a lot of fun to see them kind of fizz and do all the experiments. They just are great hands-on tools. And I like that it comes with so much that you can do and you can make your own. Coding Critters was another find from Toy Fair. This is for ages four and up, and this is screen free play. There's 22 pieces here. So I'm gonna open this up like I did the reactor pod so you can get an idea. So this is Bopper. Bopper has the coding controls on top of her and you can control her to go forward, backwards, or side to side, depending on which buttons you push. So if I wanted to have her go two spaces forward, I'd hit this button two times and go, which is the center, and she'd go two forward. If I wanted to go two back, I'd do the same going backwards. She also can turn. So I'm gonna have her go forward and do a turn. She also comes with a carrot that you can program her to go get. So I'm thinking this is gonna be. <laughs> and she got her carrot. We also have some cool components like the wagon, which goes underneath her tail like this. And she can pull around her friends, hip and hop. These are hip and hop and take them places if she wants to. We have a fun slide that's great for hip to ride in because you can push the lever and then it can go down the slide. We also have this great set of trees, which is perfect for the swing. So we can put the swing here in the center or over here on the tree branch, which is perfect to sit in and swing. These little paw prints are great for noticing distance and how many times they're gonna go forward or backwards. There's also turn ones on here, so you can set up a path so your preschooler knows how to code them. And then we have some great trees here that you can set up on little stands to create a little world to play in. You can make Hopper go around them. You can make Hopper do circles around them. So they're nice little obstacles that you could use and set up too. So this set is perfect for the early coders, it's all STEM based. It has the storybook adventures in the guidebook. And so you can make your own challenges and have a lot of fun. And it's Easter themed with the bunny. There's even a function tube on this that's a play mode. So you can feed him, you can have them dance and do all kinds of cool stuff in play mode. First off, make sure to click subscribe to join the Purple Alphabet family. And then leave me a comment down below telling me what is your go-to, your favorite thing to put inside your kids' Easter baskets. I wanna you know you always have some good ideas. Today we're giving away one of the Think Fun Brain Teaser puzzles. Uh, guys, I like putting these in the restaurant kits. They are a great size and they're perfect for Easter baskets. So head over to the giveaway link to officially enter to win. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a US postal address. And don't forget all these things are in my Amazon store. So that link's down below in the description description box that will take you right to it. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.